point. You don't know anything at all about us! You know, talking down to people isn't very nice. It would have been better if we'd done this after you had a chance to get to know us a little more. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I'm Harry Potter. The police won't be able to handle him. But it should be easy for me. Selica, don't do this! I'm not the guy she needs right now. What do you want me to do next, Orca? Hand over the ring. Don't you worry, Professor. I'll get it back. Are you willing to join me? Can't. I've got to go pump some iron. Brace! Did you find some more strays? Don't worry. I'll protect you. Come on, let's go. And all those voices still won't go away! <laughs> Good evening, one and all! Hello! Hello, everyone! It's Friday night! I'm doing a stream! What the hell is this? Like... Pre-going-back-in-person board-and-barrel night? Nobody got that. Anyway, hi, everyone! Uh, my name's Kyle McCarley. I'm a voice actor. If uh, if you're here, you probably know who I am. Um, but uh, uh, we finished... So last week, we're doing things a little bit weird, a little bit out of order this weekend. Uh, because Caitlin and I are doing stuff Sunday morning. So I can't do my typical Sunday morning stream. But she's out of the house tonight doing other stuff. So, I figured I would move my Sunday morning stream to this time slot. To, to Friday night. Which is going to be a little bit weird for, for those of you who are in Europe, who probably are either staying up super late to watch this, or getting up super early, or just catching the VOD after the fact. But uh, I appreciate all of you. And maybe this is nice for some of you guys who uh, who can't do the Sunday morning time slot. Uh, hey, that's right in the shot. Let's get rid of that. Can't believe I didn't notice that. Get that out of there. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I don't know where I am in any point of time. Fair. My internet is so bad today. Poofed. I hope it doesn't freeze too much. I'm sorry. Kikiverse. Oh, that reminds me. I got a shout out. Greetings, Professor. Nightlight S. Thank you so much for that resub. 19 months with Hacker Clan. Really appreciate it. Thank you for thank you for sticking with us. Um <clears throat> So Greetings, Professor. Hey, I'm a just subscribed. E aim. Thank you. Welcome to Hacker Clan. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Glad to have you here. Uh so uh, last weekend, in our Sunday morning time slot, we finished near Replicant version 1.22, etc. and so forth, ending E. We got them all. We finished everything. And then we even took a second to go back and, uh, go back in and, and pick up the sword that we got. Iame? I said it right the first time? I think that's how I said it the first time. I'll keep that in mind. Um, so... Sweet. Cool. So, we finished Replicant. It took us the whole stream. I was hoping we'd be able to finish it in, like, the first hour or two. And it took a little bit more than three hours. Though part of that was because the game crashed on us, which was not cool. But, uh... <clears throat> but we're here now, and we're starting off near Reincarnation tonight. Uh, the, the primary objective tonight... I don't know basically anything about this game, which is really exciting for me. Um, I did do a little bit of work on it. I did. I recorded a little bit of new dialogue for the 9S character that's available in Reincarnation, but I think he's just part of the gotcha. Like, there's. I don't think he's. If he is related to the story at all, I don't know how. Uh, I didn't record any dialogue Greetings, for that. Nothing to hey, report. Cat Suits, thank you so much for that subscription. Welcome to Hacker Clan. We got a hype train! Choo choo! Hey, those of you who uh, are new to this channel, by the way, we have 
uh, a little tradition here where we do a giveaway on, uh, hey, that's, that didn't work. Mm hmm. Oh, is it this? No, it's, uh, it's this. That's the code. There we go. That's, that's the command. Uh, Pod 153 explaining it really quickly, but we do a giveaway if you guys manage to get that hype train up to level three, a complete level three or higher, we do a giveaway. Uh, and uh, since I can't exactly do, if you manage to max out a full level five train, I usually do an autographed copy of the game we're playing. I can't really do that with a mobile game. So, uh... Dealer's choice on whoever whoever wins on what game you want an autographed copy of. I, I would say that the, that the options would be Automata, Replicant, uh, basically anything I've played on stream that you could get a, a, a physical copy of. If you manage to get that hype train all the way up to completely maxed out level 5. Uh, if, if you manage to get it to level 3 or higher... But not all the way to level five. We'll do we'll do autograph prints. Um. Anyway, so we're starting off near reincarnation tonight, uh, and I know nothing. I I'm, we're, I'm going into this basically blind, but I'm really excited. I know that there is a story to it. I also know that the near automata crossover event thing is ending on like Monday or Tuesday or something like that. So uh, our objective tonight is to get through whatever that content is if we can. And if we can't, I'll figure something out. Uh, so without further ado-do, let's get into it, shall we? It broke. <laughs> Fun. Is that because I'm not in the window? Where are you? Where are you, game? Come here, game. I would like to see you. This was working when I started it up. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, hey, you're not capturing cursor. I need to fix that because I need to see that. There we go. I'm playing this on blue stacks. There we go, nice. Yes? Close? Anything? Uh, what'd I do? Well, this is fun. Let's try starting it over. That's not working. Why isn't it working? It's super broken right now. <laughs> How do I close whatever's open on blue stacks? I gotta close blue stacks completely. Bleh. Fine. Relaunching. Hey, we're back up and running. Cool. All right, let's move this over to the corner. Sure, maybe that'll work. We might need to make ourselves a little smaller here. Wouldn't be a stream without technical difficulties. Hey, you're not capturing the right thing. Uh, you wanna capture that calculator instead? Go back. There we go. Okay, cool. We're ready to rock. Bam! Yes, I'm 16 years or older. Would you like to share your personal information to see ads tailored to your interest? When do you see ads? Ooh, how am I going to stream with ads going? <clears throat> oh, come on! What? Why do you keep... Man, I'm going to have to do display capture, aren't I? This thing's being a dick. Oh, hey. They're mostly not safe for work ads? Great. Well, I'll just switch back to the, the futon when they pop up. The ads are entirely optional?
This is first launch of this game, so you won't see any in gameplay proper. Oh, okay. Only when you roll for the roulette. Ah ha ha, I see, for the gotcha. Well, we know what name we go by here on this channel. No, the roulette and the gotcha are separate? Okay. Would this be better? No, I think I think we want to be bottom right, at least for now. Until we figure out that it doesn't work well. Massive stone towers pierce an empty sky. This enormous structure is called the cage. I did play through a little bit when this was in beta on my phone. Shadow, a lone girl walks with purpose. And she will not leave until she has what she desires. Interactive credits. <laughs> Nobody does it like near. There's no jump button. Why is there no jump button? I just want to jump the whole way. I want to bounce like I'm on a pogo stick. There's an auto button. I think I remember that from the from the beta. I turned off Bluestacks's con keyboard control overlay because I didn't want it distracting us from the proper game. And the only controls I memorized were Wasid for movement. the auto button let's just do that that's easier <laughs> now I can just talk to you guys this looks to me very reminiscent uh, although it was kind of in in like 8-bit form or whatever like it was very QB very Minecrafty uh, the end the ending E of near replicant that whole, there was a little section where we were running through, I think, I think we were running through the, the Lost Shrine in Minecraft mode, but it reminded me a lot of this.
Hello, little ghost friend. Finally up. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. So you did lose your voice after all. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna move myself a little further. Eh. Into the corner. Uh, I'm gonna try to say something. Don't failed. Mama's here to help. Mama's here to eat Pac Man. This way. Auto. Yes. You've lost more than just your voice. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Ooh! You've lost so much. But the time has come to reclaim it. Life will be much harder if you can't speak, after all. These stairs are the entrance to your prison. A place known as the Cage. Well, let's climb those stairs. I don't play a ton of mobile games, um, but I don't massive structure. recognize Where you woke up and this sandy that developer are just small aptly bought. This place is called the cage. And now Anybody know what other what games they've made? For? We all live under someone else's command. Our bodies and emotions. I recognized are Laura Post's voice just a minute ago. One often lacks the will to choose from the remaining options. These feelings. She's going to be. Real, but my reality wasn't. Guesting with us on the board and barrel. Happiness. Sunday night. Happiness. That might have been Griffin Boatu. Not sure. To begin with. We don't have time to deal with gods right now. I am a different man now. It's something I want to do. I won't stop until I've destroyed them all. Sear this into your mind. I can destroy the flowers with this. What is your anger meant for? I'll kill them all. Let's go. We have a final fragment to reclaim. Griffin is Lars. I'm not super familiar with his voice, but that sounds like him to me. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll, I'll call him out if I recognize people. I didn't recognize a ton of those voices, though. Third ripped note. Your arble et gnitisive. Visiting the library. I get it. Making friends? Be confident in the first thing you say to new people. Mama's second letter. Don't forget to wash your hands and gargle when you come home. I don't want to know what we're gargling. Sometimes I felt like all they wanted to do was fight. It was terrifying.
We're gonna auto it up. Goodness, look at these rivers of sand. I wonder how such a thing came to pass. Facade. Make sure you don't get any grit in your eyes. Well, then give me a pair of sunglasses or something. Let's head for the shiny black light up there. Black light. Black light? Is it gonna make things glow? These strange statues are scattered throughout the cage. I don't know who made them, but I call them dark scarecrows. Anyway, Looks like a this fox. Is the first one, so we'll start here. Okay. Yes, enter this story. How can black in general glow? It can't. <laughs> That's how. Is that... Is it nines? A young boy of good upbringing moves across a vast wasteland. A taciturn man follows. The boy proceeds uneasily, his eyes constantly probing their surroundings. I don't recognize Almost that voice. As if he fears they are being followed. Suddenly, a dreary town emerges from the dust. The boy suggests they take their rest, and the man nods. That's Zeno? I never would have picked that out. Zeno Robinson. And honestly, now that you say that, I hear it, but I never would have picked that out. The two make for a nearby eatery. He's great. Hoping to shake the road from their weary bones. I directed him a little bit on Carol and Tuesday. He's really, really good. Instead of welcome, they find a group of bounty hunters gathered at their destination. The lead hunter stares at the child, appraising him. You royalty, boy? I'm clicking heads. His voice is the boy. Oh, I'm skipping child. stuff. Sorry. Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. <gasps> Two shots ring out. And fade into the dusk. Did you see the flock of black birds that possessed the bounty hunter? No, but I was busy clicking heads. They're nasty sorts who like to fly in and warp the story. Well, we are not going to let that stand, are we? Your no. role is to defeat them and put the story back the way it's supposed to be. But I suppose you already know that, don't you? I do now. When do we eat Pac-Man, ghost? Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. I didn't see birds. Enemy forces sighted. Ooh, I might need to turn down the resolution on this. I won't pull back. How? How do I, what do I do? Oh, I need to go... I need to go bottom left, huh? To be able to see what buttons I have. 
Wait, what? Normal attacks are executed automatically in battle. You can use weapon skills or character skills once the corresponding gauges are filled. You can also make use of companion skills if you have any companions equipped. Use that! This is for all of our sakes. Yeah! Now use that! Now use that! Now use that! There's an auto for combat? What gameplay do you do then? Ow! Suck it! How are you not dead yet? Now you're dead. Woohoo! We did it! <clears throat> I probably... I got a pup next to me that you guys can't see. <laughs> the there he is! the boy. But remember, I am no longer a prince. With a wry smile and a touch of regret, he proposes they take their leave of the town. The man silently nods and gazes upon the boy's face. Now it's a snow fox! Sickly exile, departed gunman, everlasting cardia. Your task is to fix warped memories like this in order to restore complete stories. But we also need to collect weapons like these. Do you have a rough sense of what you're supposed to do now, child? Uh, sure. Wonderful. Then let's keep this up. Okay. Also, Mama's here to help, so don't worry too much about it, all right? I do not have an NVIDIA Shield console. Oh, hey, why don't I just hit auto? Stupid. I, this game was running really well on my phone. <clears throat> I've got a... What do I have? A Pixel 4 XL? Uh, I just don't... I don't really want to do... I don't want to stream uh, gameplay off of my phone, particularly. My, because of what a notifications place. and stuff. How anyone managed to construct something so large. It's pretty. You will sometimes encounter black birds in the cave. Ah! And you should do what you can to shoo them all out. If you do this... Oops. Tap on them to dispatch them and earn items. Tap it tap! Ooh. Get out of here, bird. Okay, so I gotta... There's, there's some active participation there. You gotta keep an eye out for the birds. Well, here's the second one. Are you ready? Nope! 
I'm officially into new territory. I only went through the very first story chapter thing when I played the beta. Some are really hard to see, so you gotta pay really close attention. Okay. Wherever people gather, stories come with them. But saloons have a special ability to lose Is that a two? tightest of lips. Such rumors are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place. For she is it's a not? hunter in search of her prey. Man, it looks like her. Several bounty hunters have been falling. Hey, something or other. You're a bounty hunter too, yeah? You take care out there. I didn't know that that was going to auto advance. My husband said a strange man shot at him in the woods. But fortunately, he didn't pursue. But still, it's left us shaken. You know, as a youth, I was quite the gunman myself. Folks used to say I was even better than a machine soldier. The information <laughs> she obtains from the patron seems vague. Sure does. More than that. Gathering herself, she exits the saloon in pursuit of her target. Now I can do this. I'm gonna kill your birds. I gotta slide back and forth, Crowley. I'm sorry. I'll cut down everything in my way. Yeah. She really looks a lot like A2 to me. Ow. Ow. You can use character skills once the corresponding gauge is filled. The gauge fills whenever you deal or take damage. Character abilities activate automatically during battle and can have a variety of effects, such as increasing your stats or decreasing the amount of damage you take from enemies. Let's do it! We won't lose. Ooh! AoE that just killed everybody. She's a lot tougher than the boy and the gunslinger. It is over in a moment. Let's try and sit on this side. Carried off by the wind. Ooh. No mediocre highwayman could hope to stand against her desire for revenge. The woman heads for the forest in pursuit of her target. Fun stories in this game. Cheery. Okay. regain what you have lost but we also do it to make your wish come true 
So let's keep it up. Slow and steady wins this race. Auto time! We gotta keep an eye out because there could be birds. Watching like a hawk. Hmm. I suppose I should tell you a little bit about the cage. It's a truly massive structure. Oh, Where oh. you woke up and this sandy area. Yeah. Here are just small parts of it. To be honest, a great deal of the cage is a mystery. I'm not even certain who gave it that name. I'm proud of myself. Yes, enter the story. Nah. I decided I didn't want to play anymore. Tried to click on a bird. It would appear he is searching for food. Om nom 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 nom. The expression on his bandaged face is clouded. The grasses rustle ominously as they part. It seems the man is not the only one who's searching. Ah! I have an apple, you want it? Are lean, starving, desperate. And they will do what they must to survive. I have to fight a bear? I don't like that. Ergo rar. Oh, that's a it's much scarier than a bear. Out my face. Oh, I walked into that. This will give us an advantage. Oh, I recognize that voice. I couldn't get away. Ow, my face! You can speed up the combat? Alright, we can do that. Ow! What's the point in moving around? Moving doesn't do anything functional. You can't dodge enemy attacks. Okay. It's dead. Dead, Jim. Kagi, are you saying that's Alejandro Saab? No, it's not. Having secured his prize, the man returns to the What? He said so on stream. What? Wow! Is 
Is that faster than just that? No, I don't think it is. This game is an auto-battler. There's no strategy outside of picking your weapons. Okay. The sound of his worn boot heels echoes throughout the dilapidated chapel. I knew he was in the game. I just, I can't believe that, that that's his character. It doesn't sound anything like Alejandro. The lies at the back, his face drawn and haggard. The man kneels down and offers some of the food he collected. But the boy is too weak to hold it. His body will not allow him to accept even this meager meal. I honestly thought it might have been like Crispin the boy Freeman. Tries to brush it off with a feeble smile. But the man just stares down at him in silence. When do I get to keep one of these staffs? But to think that poor sick child had to travel the wastes in his condition. Still, we've restored the third memory now. If we can collect the next one, it will mark the end of the staff's tale. I'm getting the weapons? I want to hold them. I want to... I want to... Star Wars kid my way through this castle place. We're gonna auto it up. We're gonna look for a bird. Goodness, this place is nothing but stairs. I hope your little legs are okay. Still... I suppose it does allow us to see some rather lovely views. Be sure to rest whenever you start to feel tired, child. Someone once said I'm not tired, Mom. A shortcut to success after all. You can literally just hit auto and let the game play itself for like 95% of the story. Okay. It's so bright here. Oh, you saw a bird. One. Where? We should be able to enter the final memory here. Where? It's down on the pillar. What? Further down? Okay. Oh, whoa, it's really small. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be really bad at this. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to see that on a phone? <laughs> Is there one in every chapter? Is that that kind of the... Rule of thumb? People who arm themselves tend to find their way into a fight. Four fear out of five chapters. Of death from now on. Four every chapter. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Four or five. I meant each segment, each story segment. The woman who set out from town finally arrives at a wild wood. I 
I can't auto through this. Oh, I can hit skip though. Soon, she comes across the ruins of a once proud church. The ceiling is collapsed. The walls are mere suggestions. Roughly one each story segment, but in later chapters there are more battles between story segments. Okay. But in the very back of the church, she finds a deteriorated clockwork soldier, as well as the corpse of a boy. Oh, he's the dead. The, witches, the clockwork soldier suddenly rises. Is that him all the way back there? He's bones. Let's fly. He's been dead for a minute. Well, more like three minutes. <laughs> I'll cut down everything in my way. Hit that auto button, just let it happen! I don't know if I have to click these when I'm in auto mode. Ow my face! Ow my face! No, it just Here doesn't. But I have to click for this. Auto uses weapon skills. You need to click character ones for now. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind the woman accesses the law doing a little bit soldier. of gameplay myself. <laughs> the boy was a prince, driven from his kingdom. The clockwork soldier traveling with him was his guardian and his friend. You will later get an upgrade that will let auto battle do everything. than a minute, his body, I guess. Rust, his mind, shadow. Yet still he remained to protect his friend. The woman built a grave to mourn the pair and leaves the forest without a word. Okay, bye! Could have kept his hat. It's a sweet hat. He was a prince who was driven away from his own country, and before breaking down. The machine tried so hard to guard his master's body. <sighs> this memory marks the end of the story they left behind inside this staff. Well done, child. Do you see how the proper story is now stored inside the staff? I don't like that story. It's a sad story. I wanted a happy story. Buckle up. It, it's Yoko Taro. I, I know. I know it's going to make me cry. One of the lost fragments that you should be collecting.
Did I get all the birds? I only got three. Up the stairs now. We still have a long way to go. <laughs> Sapphire salmon, I love that. I come in and the first thing I hear is, I don't like that story. It's a sad story. Must be near. <laughs> Three on chapter one, four on every other. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of excited for how how relaxing of a of a playthrough this is going to be for this stream for this channel like so many games that i play i like i i'm distracted from chat because i'm hyper focused on gameplay and this is going to be a lot different from that if only i'd had the strength Whenever I look back, the pain of what I lost runs through something. I lost it. It's super laid back, very much story driven. I love that. You have a long road ahead of you, so you'll need to increase your power. Hmm, where should I start? First, you need to arrange your allies in a loadout. Actually, it would be much easier to explain in a demonstration. It's mostly the same as any other game. What the? This is the mama menu. You can do all sorts of things here. Load out. It's a bird cage. You can change a loadout by tapping the deck panel and selecting a character and a main weapon. Characters can also be equipped with secondary weapons, companions, and memory memoirs, which will change the deck's total force. Note that you cannot have multiple instances of the same character in different costumes in the same deck, nor can you have one character using multiple copies of the same weapon. Okay. It's just sad by Yoko Taro. What am I? Oh, there's a button underneath me. Well hey, I done. wasn't done there. You can also enhance allies and weapons, but oh, never mind. Just take a peek whenever you feel like it. Let's keep moving. I want to open that menu again. There's a bunch of stuff there. This is what's new. Bad news, child. There's a powerful enemy on the loose. When you defeat this boss, you can try your hand at limited time event summons. I hear there are even powerful weapons available. Let's go. Mama has a summons notice and introduction for you. There's a new costume for Griff. Other things have been added too, so be sure to take a look. My, what stylish moves. Try to get this one if you can. Mama has a summons notice and introduction for you. There's a new costume for 063Y. Other things have been added too, so be sure to take a look. My, what stylish moves. Try to get this one if you can. Let's be off, shall we? Free a meal, heads! Uh... 
Okay. How do I... What am I doing? There we go. Just click mama. Woo! Oh, this is so gotcha-y. Why isn't there a claim everything? <laughs> so many things to claim. Okay. Uh, somebody said to tap mama a bunch. You can obtain weapons that will help you in battle here. If you're lucky, you may even get friends who will fight at your side. No need to think too much about it. Let's just give it a shot for now. No, just tap mama to close the menu. No, somebody said to tap mama... Oh, in the world outside of the menu. Okay. Uh... Okay. Summons! What are these? I don't know what's happening. <gasps> Can I do this already? Open the gift box and missions first, since you're going to have gems there. I can summon any time. Okay. I would like a 9S, please. Type 4 sword with divergent scanner. Do I hit this? Is that, is that what I want? It says sword. I don't want a sword. I want 9S. Look at the top. Or... You get characters by getting their weapons. Oh! Okay. Press gift box. Fine. Small character enhancement. Okay. I don't know what that means. But thank you. Oh, there's a take all. Thank God. Bunch of gems. Puppy. Now summon and try your luck. Okay. So I hit exchange. No, take all again. Why? Why didn't take all take all? Because there are pages. Oh, okay. If you don't get 9S now, reinstall the game and reroll until you do. <laughs> uh, okay, now go back to summons at the bottom. Okay. Quest is there for... Two for auto. Scroll to the automata banner. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. But I'm in this one. Okay. I'm here. Now what? Hit one or ten times. I'm going to do one times because I have a ticket. Or. Always the 10 times roll, but they they look like different costs.
Ticket and then 10 times. Yeah, that's what I would think. Like, I want to use my ticket first, right? Premium ticket. Give me 9S. Give me 9S. Give me my boy. Do, 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 do. What are you hoping for? 9S? not gonna be 9S. It's not gonna be him, I know it. I'm not that lucky. Crimson Spear. What does that mean? Return? That's a pity point. 200 of them and you can get a free 9S. Ah, okay. If you see purple, that could be 9S, 2B, or A2. Okay. Ten times. Let's go! Let's see if we can get 9S! This is the new game! I see a purple! A single purple! B9S! B9S! B9S in that purple thing! Ebon Gauntlet! Oh, it's going to be the last one? Come on. The suspense is killing me! Wretched. Stab. You can press and skip animation. Won't that skip them all? Crimson Spear. Lapis Lazuli. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 9S, 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 9S! That doesn't look like a 9S weapon. What do I... It's not even a character? Ah, oh, come on! Do I hit summon again? For ten more? Off-banner weapon. Each purple has like a 3% chance to be 9S. I don't think we're gonna get him then, guys. <laughs> I can do two more 10 rolls? All right. And I won't be able to get him after the, the event ends, right? Time to become a gotcha streamer. <laughs> It's not the very last one this time. Spam clicks, spam clicks, spam clicks. Here we go. Here we go. B9S! 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 What is what does that mean? What does that mean? What is right is not always what people seek. What is genuine is not always pleasant. And so people reject the truth. They shut the light out of their hearts and cling to things that don't exist. Possibilities long since vanished. Heroes never seen. 
Why are they not condemned for this? Does it simply not matter if a thing exists when it comes to granting happiness to those abandoned by truth? Oh boy, so many words all over the screen. Epic costume acquired. It's 2B! I mean, that's cool. That's real cool. That's not what I wanted, but it's real cool! <laughs> Again! Gimme 9S this time. Gimme 9S. Gimme 9S. Gimme 9S. What are you hoping for? 9S. I've said it a hundred times. Oh, I didn't even get a purple that time. Boo, skip it all. Eh. Eh. You should be able to get enough crystals to hit 200 shards and just forcibly pick him before it's gone at least. Okay. That's good. I can't hit summon again, huh? Oh, go to your missions and claim the rewards for more gems. Okay. No, I don't. L leave me alone. Tap on Mama a hundred times to get a Tendra. Okay. <gasps> oh, wait, no, claim all. Claim all. Take all. Take all. Take all. I'm gonna tap you a bunch. I'm gonna tap you a bunch. Oh, right. I'm supposed to tap her out there, huh? Uh, okay. So I go to top, and then I go here, and now I tap her a bunch. Tippity tap 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 tap. Five more quests and you can roll again. Stop moving! I'm tapping you. Should be able to do the automata side quests now. Yeah, we'll do that. We gotta do those. Who's keeping count? How many times have I clicked? <laughs> you'll have the you'll have to check the missions to see if you've done it enough. It won't notify you. Oh yeah. 3,000 more gems. Thumbin. Ten times. I have enough! One more! One more time! One more time! He can check by clicking quests and seeing what pops up. Close to another 10, too. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a purple right at the front. And then they moved it over here. Here we go. What? What is that? It's 
skip it. Just a weapon again. Boo! That's a shaft. That's right. I got the shaft. Missions. Hey, giga. -ga -ga. Shafted. Okay, well, let's uh, go back to the top. Or wait, isn't there, how do I do the automata quests? Still locked? More story first. Okay. Have to complete chapter two. Okay. Let us continue. The road splits here. Mama thinks we should go right because it's the right way. We went left. Hmm. But left also might be the right way. If it wasn't clear by now, Mama doesn't actually know. Ha! Oh, birds! That's right! I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying any attention. Gotta be a bird around here somewhere. Down here. I bet it's down here. Where? Where are you, bird? Oh, both paths leave it lead across the thing. And neither one leads to a bird. Wait, is that it? It's so freaking small. It's, a, it's upsetting how small they are. They're so hard to see. It's an illusion of choice, as some say. Oh, this weapon is... Anyway, let's get started on its restoration, shall we? I wonder what kind of story we'll find this time. I bet it won't be a happy one. Sisters with lovely ebon hair lived in a lush and verdant land. They hunted for food in the forest and did their best to each support the other. Hey sis, guess what? Today, I'm gonna hunt for our food all by myself. Wait, no, come back. Don't do that. Yoko this is a Yoko Taro game. And was an archer of rare skill. When their parents died, she began teaching the younger how to hunt. The younger looks up to her and wants so badly to test out her new skills. This thought fills the older sister with warmth as she follows after her sibling. I don't like it. Oh good, she's not dead. Yet. Here goes. 
What? No! Oh my god! Her sibling hears a beast cry out from the direction of her little sister. She sets off after her at a frantic pace. I can't go any more the frantic than Wasid. over the prone girl and makes to attack. Frantic pace equals casually walking, yes. <laughs> I can't go any more frantic than I was going. I'll cut down everything in my way. Oh, I forgot to choose my allies. I'm fighting this with one person. Is this right? Locked battle? It doesn't matter? This one you're supposed to fight with one person. Okay. Get him! You can go change after though, okay. Hi Crowley. Up here. That's a good boy. Oh, I should click on that little speech bubble. As an arrow penetrates the beast's tender flesh, it turns tail and flees. There was no way her little sister could have taken down the massive creature alone. Yeah. She tried to pick a fight with a friggin' bear. I was so scared, sis. Trying to calm her. The woman removes her silver hairpin and places it on her sister. It is a keepsake of their mother, one the young girl has long desired. Thanks, sis, she says, beaming. Next time, it'll be my turn to protect you. The Huntress is voiced by Dana Powers, if you were wondering. I don't know Dana Powers. It's a good boy. Ah, Hi, Remus. Yes, I see. Oh, and the Simon's in here too. This weapon is all about that woman. Got all the pups. I feel like we've seen her somewhere before. All the boys. All the boys. Hi, Remus. Where you going? Where you going? Huh? You wanna come up here? Come up here next to your brother? Oh, it's okay, Crowley. It's okay. You don't need to growl. You don't need to grumble. There's room. Or there will be when Dad makes a little more room. There. <laughs> Plenty of room. Yeah, we gotta put 2B on our team. Doggo? Yes. Uh, here. I'll show you the pups. Look at the puppies! Look at these puppies! And Simon's on the floor over there. Snoozing. Or I'd call him over. Okay. I'm impressed that Kyle's shirt isn't being keyed out by the software. It's, uh, it's not, it's not keying out the color green. It's automatic background removal. Uh, okay, so how do I choose my team? Crowley, why are we growling? You don't need to growl. Menu and then loadout. Okay. 
Oh, Crowley. Gift box. Give me presents. Oh, I can watch video ads to get more gems. That's what you guys were talking about. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, load out. And give me... 2B. Oh. What weapon do I give her? Probably this one? Is that her sword? I think that's her sword. Secondary? What's this? The weapons at the top are going to automatically be sorted by their power level. And the flashing red means she gets a bonus with that weapon type. Cool. Uh, sure. Okay. Now, go back over here. I swap Rion for somebody else. Yes. Use Gale. We'll auto it up. Pick your favorite characters and just focus on making them as strong as you can. Okay. I would love to have a team of 2B, 9S, and A2. Don't try to level up everyone equally. It's a noob trap. Okay. Give her a wild weapon. You get more gems. What's a wild weapon? A wind. Wind weapon. That's a wind weapon. Uh... There. All wind. Just the primary matters. The, two, the other two are just bonuses to stats. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to hit auto and swap the primary back to this. Okay. Done. Okay. Where do I see my gems? And it costs 3,000 for a 10 pull. Okay. Paid jams only, remaining one. What does that mean? Oh, for this specific banner. Enhance 2B. Usually it's nice to have the featured character of the chapter in your party since they get stat boosts. And then the main weapon, the element that the quest asks for. 
You should have a four-star ticket. Where? What? What are, you, what are you talking? What does that mean? Go below. Oh! Character or weapon summon guaranteed. Okay. I'm so far off to the side over here, Remus. Let's go! It's pink. Or purple. Should give you a buff character at least. Or a weapon. <laughs> Fart. I think I already had that weapon too. Let's just go. Let's just get this over with. Only staffs. Barrier B. Oh, I have to fight it. I can get a free 9S? Man, what am I even trying for? Commencing mission. I heard Kira's voice. That thing died fast. Wow, I'm a lot more efficient Another killer now than I was. Continuing mission. Funny how how optimizing your loadout helps a lot if you kill too fast you won't get all the gems what what are you talking about if you upgrade 2b in her weapon she'll destroy everything outside of the scarecrows well let's just square them away as best we can as we go forward okay hold on hold on slow down okay <gasps> you got to read the mission some missions ask you to use character skills companion skills or weapon skills oh There are only birds in the parts just before the statues. Aha! Got it. Thank you, delicious orange art. Who's hyped for the seventh? Is that when the replicant crossover starts? Commencing mission. <laughs> we'll just slow down a little bit. Maybe. I've got enough death for everyone. Still too fast. Still too fast. Not gonna get a chance. I turned auto off. Yes, I know. Use weapon skills? Those get used in auto. I turned auto off, not fast forward. Wait, what? 
fast forward that affects how long that's weird I would have thought that that would also double the timer on on those skills increasing Those are separate buttons. Fast forward does increase skill charge speed. Then why do I need to turn it off? I was slowing down my, like I was trying to slow down to get to where I could get my character skills unlocked. So I wasn't, I was deliberately not using the weapon skills. That's what I meant. What could those dark creatures be after? But I'm still killing stuff too fast. There are just so many things that Mama doesn't know. The quest said to use weapon skills? Well, then why'd I turn auto off? I was using weapon skills. Look. You guys were telling me I needed to turn auto off. <laughs> Thought that was a bird. It's not. What could it be? There are so many mysteries in the cage, aren't there? Don't worry about it, Kyle. Just use auto and enjoy the story. That's exactly what I should do. Bird! It's real close this time. I was looking off in the distance. This second scarecrow will hold another part of the weapon's memory. Gift box! Oh, you know what that means. Time for a summon. Oh, never mind, it's not. I thought it was time for a summon. Never mind, we're not there yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Take it easy, Megastorm6000. Thanks for hanging out for a little while. Done with their hunting, the black-haired sisters decide to return home before dusk. The music's playing backwards. The younger has caught a small bunny, and the elder a large boar. It is a typical day of hunting for the pair. Overlooks the town. Flames billow forth, and the chilling snaps of distant gunfire can be heard. Uh oh. The woman immediately thinks of the war that is raging in the neighboring nation. She tells her sister to stay put and goes to see what has happened for herself. This is a bad plan. Be careful. The town is oddly still, save for the incessant crackle of flames. The woman gasps as she takes in the grisly sight before her. I just walk through All fire. She can see our bodies. 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 
What is? That's a lot of bodies. Over here, a survivor. Oh boy. Commencing mission. I'm gonna auto. I'm gonna hit that auto button and just do it. Then I get my weapon skills off. Boom! 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 Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminated. I love that we're hearing Kira more than anybody else. <laughs> I wonder if she's played this game. I gotta ask her. I gotta get to. I gotta get her to. I gotta get together with her. It reminds me. I need to text her tomorrow. After defeating the soldier, she hears a voice. Her worried sister has followed her into the fires of the village. Enemy soldiers cry out all around them. Seize them! There's two of them! For the kingdom! Sis, we have to run! Okay, come on! As the woman feared, the war from the nearby nation has finally found them. Uh-oh. Uh Strange and fearsome men surround them on all sides. Click heads! Um, no impact, heat, pain. Her little sister screams. Oh, As no, the woman's consciousness flickers out. Two words from a soldier reach her ears sort them. I'm sorry, what? What does that mean? No, no, don't like that. Don't like the sound of that at all. I see. This weapon speaks of war. I suppose it's rare for the memories in these weapons to be peaceful ones. They're weapons! That's a little sad. Why would their memories be peaceful? They're weapons! <laughs> Let's open our gift box. Yes. <gasps> Time for a summon! Half year anniversary? game just came out oh because it it's been out in japan for that long has it been that long wow ten pulls give me a nine s give me a nine s not even a purple Stupid game. No.
This game sucks. Yeah, let's begin that battle. It's fine. I'll just play as Kira. It's fine. You're a quarter of the way to a pity 9S, though. <laughs> okay. Use them weapon skills. Here we go. Pew 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 pew. Engaging. It looked a little janky on the very first fight, but I think that's because I was doing a lot of walking around and stuff. It looks fine now. I'm impressed. What are those? Rains of sand summon ticket. Okay. Um. So you guys said to do the automata story. We had to finish chapter, or the, the uh, side quests. We have to finish chapter two, right? Just finish this chapter. Okay. You get to a hub, and in there you can select subquest. Cool. That's what we're doing tonight. Cause I want to make sure I get through that before it goes away. Commencing mission. I hope Red Bagman is in the Replicate crossover. That'd be great. Special attack is <laughs> bickering with his wife. He's a fist weapon user and his weapon is apples. Yes. Huge apples like Hulk hands. <laughs> There's gonna be a bird here somewhere. This room is a bit strange, isn't it? Can you see down there? There are so many paths going every which way. It's like a maze. Where are you, little birdie? Who? Where's the bird? Damn it. I gotta go back. I missed it. I gotta look real close. Real close. 
There's a bird somewhere. I know it. Is it down there? What if I just tap randomly all over the screen? Just gonna click all over the place till I get my bird. You saw it? Oh, it's right there. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. That was an easy one. And I was looking at that platform the whole way up, too. Kira did get to play two characters in this game because of 2P, you're right. Two P just sounds like two B, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Two P was not in Automata, no. Two P was added for the FF fourteen raids. Or no, that's right. Was added for Soul Calibur. I forgot. In a world enveloped by haze. She hears a faint voice. Please it sounds similar help to her me. little sister's voice. But also different. Wrong. My sister. I have to save my sister. The woman's dim memories slowly become clear. The blow she'd taken, her sister screaming, the soldier's words. Her only sister, her only family. She must save her. As she runs, the woman's world is enveloped in a shimmering wall of white. When the woman wakes anew, she is lying on the floor of an unfamiliar prison. And her hair is white now! Something is terribly wrong. She looks down at her body and stifles a gasp. One arm and one leg have been replaced by mechanical substitutes. Ooh, that's cruel and, and unusual black hair punishment. Is now as white as snow. Why did they dye her hair? Where That's a weird sister? thing to do to a prisoner. She I get cutting it off. Prison in search of her missing sibling. She dispatches both her cell door and its guard with equal ease. Only then does she realize the truth. Kicked it. Her body is now she a Kicked the guard weapon. with a mechanical leg. As this knowledge sinks in, darkness envelops her. It's not died, it turned white from pure sadness. It's implied that it's bleached from stress or trauma. Enemy forces sighted. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminated. Yeah, they all gonna die. Real fast.
Real talk, it's white because Yoko Taro likes it that way. <laughs> He does seem keen on women in skimpy clothes with white hair. When she interrogates the dying guard about her sister, he grins madly and says, Our kingdom will invade all. Every country will bend the knee to our might. Then we'll experiment on the survivors and turn them into beautiful killing machines. Oh yes, they will be sorted. You were With these a failure. Ones, the soldier died. <laughs> the woman begins to run. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. She repeats the mantra as she runs, praying that somehow her sister has escaped this fate. Ninas wears short shorts, Lovey the Cutie. Short shorts that you can blow off and turn into boxer briefs. He's got a skimpy ish outfit. Although I would like to be able to put him in the Kaine costume. The memories of the woman in this weapon. She lost her arm and leg because of her dark past. Take it. this Ooh Shinies Well there's something about setting a favorite character. Let me see this. How do I set her as a favorite? Or did I already do it? I did it. Nice. Use data transfer to back up your game data? I can download data. Transfer data. Ew, no, I don't want to sign in with Facebook. without those gems. Kyle, can we add you on reincarnation? Oh, is there a way to do that? A friends thing? Friends! Uh, yeah. How do I do that? Profile? And link it to your Square Enix account. I don't have one. Go to your profile. Where? Menu? Profile. There's my ID. Putting it in the chat. I think. There you go. It's in the chat right now. Add me. Do it. If you want. Moving on.
Now I'm gonna put that Enemy in Discord. Forces, so. Boom. I've got enough death for everyone. Assistance initiated. I will accept friend requests after this fight. There's a daily mission where you send your friends list some help and you receive stamina in return. If you have 100 friends, you get 100 stamina points. Cool. Accept. 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 Accept them. All of them. Simon has relocated to my chair, my my desk chair, over there. The fact that there's a reject all but not an accept all, I know. It's a little hurtful. Thanks, guys. I have friends now. Commencing mission. Not likely. Shoot them. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. Noise. It's kind of relaxing just hitting auto and letting it go. <laughs> The exchange is the place to swap items, weapons, characters, materials, and much more. <gasps> you can trade things? I could trade for a 9S? What? What? What what? What? What the what? It's eerie. It's eerie. He looked very threatening. Where are you, little birdie? Looks like that monster ran off somewhere. Anyway, the next memory we find will be the last for this part of the cage. We're almost there, child. Just keep going. Oh, it's right there! 
I got you, bird. Ooh, seven more friend requests. I accept you. Wait. Aw, thanks, guys. Here, you can have some, too. Give me those gems. Give me those gems! I want all the gems. Woohoo! The woman exits her prison. She beholds a town stained red with both flame and blood. She is in a strange land, one she does not recognize. But she must find her sister. The woman runs and runs and runs. Hey! Hey! One of the failures has escaped! Oh, you gonna die, big man. I'm petting an invisible dog. You can almost see him peeking through Enemy the background removal. Sorry. I've got enough death for everyone. Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is a game that I could totally see myself just popping on and streaming whenever. Dashes toward the sound. I don't know if I will. <laughs> what fun, what fun. <laughs> the thing standing before her was once her sister. But now, all trace of her former self has been lost to the sorting. I don't like it. <laughs> kill, kill, I want to kill! Oh dear. Okay, the fire effects don't agree with my computer. We won't lose. No, we won't. It's dead.
That didn't take long. Sister. The transfer of sister trembles, as if trying to remember something. I got eyes on two failures. No. The moment her sister is cut down in front of her, the woman loses all control. Even when you killed my sister, hunks of flesh, she cannot stop. Finally, the woman cradles her sister in her arms and gazes at her blood-stained face. Oh. I don't like it. Their hair, once dark as night itself, was now pure white. Yet the hairpin still glinted from atop the sister's head. The woman was alone. Her fate was sealed. And so she swore a vow to her sister. The fires of her revenge would rage until they consumed the entire kingdom. Oh. Crowley. Crowley's been making all kinds of noises over there. I know you guys can't hear him. He's snoozing on the floor and he just keeps going, Her. People need goals and hopes in order to live their lives. And for her, revenge was itself a form of hope. Hey, Mama, why do you get the sword? I want the sword. Hope, the spirit of desire and the drive to move forward. There are still many things you need to reclaim. Okay, bye. The next fragment I is waiting it. for you. Yippee! Can I please? Can you let me walk again, please? There we go. Turning on eco mode reduces power consumption. I'm guessing that's for your phone. Battery. Oh my, this is Mama's room. Dear me, it looks like we have trouble again. Mama will have to deal with this on her own. I sense dark foes on the other side of that door. Is that the one that I want to do? That's an automata quest? Subquest is a general term for quests such as limited time quests and character quests. You can select the type of quest you want from the list on the left hand side of the screen, then choose the specific quest by selecting it from within that list. Mama's room is a unique space somewhere in the cage. You can use the menu to come here and try your hand at the special quests behind one of its many doors. The center door will take you back to the main area of the cage. Uh, oh, I got some more friend requests. Thanks, guys. Gift box. 
take all. Missions. Take all. Close. And I want to go to enhance. Materials and gold can be used to enhance the stats and skills of characters, weapons, companions, and memoirs. Well, 2B's about to get buffed. Uh, wait, for real? Just auto? Just do it all. Enhance. Only use large and extra large. Seems to be a disagreement on that front in the chat. I'm doing auto. Do auto. Don't all. It's fine. Not all. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Glorious. She's level 69. Nice. the sword. Let's auto that too. Glorious. When you use some, you sometimes get an EXP bonus. Cool. Where'd my mouse go? Okay. Missions. Get some gems. Get some more gems. Get this friend request. Take all, send all, and we're done here. Except, we got enough for another ten pull. Here we go! <gasps> Come on, Ninus! If there was a 3% chance that we would get 2B, and we got her, then 3% chance on Ninus isn't so bad. We got a purple! Is that A2? No, it's Gale. I keep confusing her for A2. <laughs> oh! 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 What world did this come from? Who did it used to be worn by? They are unusual garments that drifted here from somewhere far, far away. They harbor no animosity. No malice. 
It is assistance from a person unseen, born of a desire to help a traveler burdened with a most unjust fate. Ah, oh, come on! Epic costume. Is that the commander? Huh. It's another character wearing the commander's outfit. Ah, okay. Well, poop. Okay, so I want to go through this door, right? Wait. I keep stories that I'm still restoring on the other side of this door. The dark foes have been sneaking in so much lately. We need to chase them out so we can restore the stories. Let's try a subquest, shall we? Play this subquest? I want to play a specific sub. Do I have to play this one first? This is the story of a man and a woman. Imprisoned soldiers in never-ending war. She meets this new recruit and finds him willing to put his life on the line for revenge. These people have lost so, so much. Loved ones. Family. Everything. Event quests are quests that are only available for a limited time. You can learn more about them by checking your notices. Okay... Where is it in character quests? Just go straight to record cage of reincarnation. There we go. This is the story of a war waged by a boy and girl built from machinery. Clad in black, the pair seems bound by a fate they cannot escape. Sweet. Let's do it. Clear with a light affinity main weapon. Clear with one or fewer incapacitations and clear with no members incapacitated. Uh, light affinity main weapon. Is that this? Okay, cool. Then we're gonna go. Cool. I'll cut down everything in my way. And dead. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. Ideally, you would also be including the commander costume and the phoenix sword for more free Yokotaro medal. Oh. Okay. I can do that. After this fight. I've got enough death for everyone. You can swap. Swap her in for... Because I think I have her. I can swap her in for... Uh, the gunslinger.
Swap Gale for... Gale's doing really well, though. Built to protect mankind, two androids fight the machines. The female is 2B, a powerful warrior who fights on the front line. The male is 9S, That's me. a support unit I'm who aids guy. 2B from afar. When they fight as one, nothing can stop them. Feels like I'm reading a children's book version of <laughs> Near Automata. But 9S has a secret. He wants to free 2B from the nice. world Thank you. unending war. One day. As they pursue yet another enemy, they find themselves making their way through a massive limestone cavern. Foes attack and fall, one after the other. The machines stand no chance against them. I'm out of water. Yay! Uh, I would like to back out for a sec. Change my loadout. Well, that's done and dusted. Any no, it's not. you restore through subquests will be saved in the library. Don't worry. The dark foes can't reach them there. I'll make it so you can view them, as well as any weapon memories you set right in the cage. Now let's get back to the cage. No. We can leave through that door. Go back. I would like to swap Demos. Or yes. How do I put a costume on her? Oh, it's a special it's a specific character. I could pay attention. Uh which one is your... That one. Just auto. Great! Okay. I would like my gift box. I have an A2 Gale. Oh, that's right. I have an A2 Gale. I forgot about that. That was the one that I was like, it's A2. No, it's not. It's Gale again. Let's see. A2 Gale is not a bonus. No bonus for that. She will be. Once you get into the side quest. Oh, okay.
Uh, just auto her weapons, please. Oh wait, but I need I need the Emil as a primary. Whoops. Don't forget her unique weapon. She doesn't have one. Or is it that one? You can put Emil heads as either primary or secondary. Either works. Okay, well, it's already in there then. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, it was equipped on t uh, 2B. Yeah, there's no bonus for her. Oh well. Maybe you need the other costumes for the bonus? I don't know. Hey, Remus. Okay, bud. There's a puppy head sneaking through the background removal. Commencing mission. Come. I've got enough death for everyone. Oh. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. That was quick. Next. Dark Scarecrows. These strange statues hold weapons with memories and can be found across the cage, though their exact origins are unknown. You should leave before I change my mind. To be kicking some ass. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. The commander's doing pretty good too. Oh, sorry, buddy. Bye, Remus. Oh, now I have room. I was taking up the whole futon. Watch over me. If you can EXP up two more and weapons to push your power rating, you can auto very hard quests to maximize farm should you want them all. All what? Moving on. Our objective was to tackle oh, the non-premium 2B, 9S, and A2 and their weapons. Ah, gotcha. Make sure to keep an ear out for the beautiful music that plays throughout your journey. You nice. should leave before I change my mind. I've got enough death for everyone. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. It's a big bad. Eliminating. It's a big bad that's gonna die right now. Boom. Level 69 2B. Cannot be stopped.
Record, The Cage of Reincarnation, Part 2. They proceed deep into the cavern, then deeper still. Finally, they reach their destination. The darkness is absolute. But the moment they Machines. Come forward, they are enveloped in a brilliant red light. Oh no! And then does 9S realize his mistake. The enemy has been using electronic camouflage. There are machine life forms here. Dozens of them. Suddenly, 2B emits a heart-rending scream. She is infected with a virus. <gasps> a no! weapon designed to destroy an android from the inside out. Her eyes begin to glow red. It is a worst case scenario. Stupid logic virus. And Ninas knows the best thing for him to do is abandon the fight and retreat. But he refuses to even consider this option. He will save to be. He must. For that is his purpose in life. In a Even desperate maneuver, her he links to himself kill him? to her infected mind and begins diving into its deepest, most hidden parts. Oh God, I want to play through Automata again. This is really making me want to play through Automata again. <laughs> Next. Do I have enough stamina to get through this whole thing? Yes, okay. I have stamina for days. Cool. You can get I've 20 stamina drinks per day on the currency shop. You buy it with in-game gold. Oh, cool. Word of advice, next time at the victory screen, click on the medals to see how many you have. Okay. Uh, these guys? I have 57 of them. Two hundred for a character? Cool. Cool. Two hundred for a three star nine S. Nice. I'll cut down everything in my way. Two hundred shards from summoning. I don't know about metals. <sighs> After you're done with the quest, you unlock hard and very hard, and more difficulty means more web uh, metals. Yeah, I'll cut you and, down. And the metals are what you use to buy nine S. Specifically 9S. You don't use them to buy anybody else. 9S is the only character. <laughs> Enemy reinforcements. Yes, okay, cool. Eliminated. Metal are, are metals are used in the event shop. Well, I have to use them tonight cuz they're going to go away. Before I play again anyway. On the 7th? Is that right? Four days. Early on the seven. I'll 
I'll cut down everything in my way. Ow, my face! You're done! How annoying. Farming the characters is easy. Farming for the rest of the yeah. stuff if you're feeling Spartan is the fun part. Oh, so he only has the fifth and sixth. Is today the fourth? Today's the third, isn't it? I mean, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play again before next weekend, so I've I have tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just I'm just going for 9S. And and the uh automata side quests. 2B's mind is a maze. A labyrinth. Oh, why doesn't it keep auto on? Finally, he throws open a door and beholds a strange sight. Flickering memories of himself. All from the perspective of 2B. He sees himself in a forest of metal. A frozen ocean. A boiling desert. But he remembers none of this. And all the memories end in exactly the same way. 2B killing him. 2B killing him. Called it! She does it's like I know this story. And over. And over. And over. And over. And over. But for each death, there is also a first meeting. God, I really want to play through this game again. Each time, he says, people who know me well usually call me nines. He says this dozens of times. Hundreds. Moving on. We're up to 83 of those medals. Each memory dwells within a weapon. The girl can regain what she has lost by restoring and collecting warped memories. Every now and then I'm going to read those to a little loading screen stories. This soundtrack. I love the fact that Kyle's only getting 9S and Gale is basically A2 now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's gonna be my team. I mean pretty pretty clearly. <laughs> The girl, though she's kind and has a bright personality, she wears a collar and bandages for reasons unknown and is plagued each night by horrible dreams. I'm not looking forward to when we get her story. I have a oh, feeling Mama's not going to be so way. great at the end of all this. 
I just, I just, I have a hunch that we are not going to like Mama when all is said and done. There. But I got a long way to go to get to that. Hey Kyle, just got home from San Japan, got to meet Laura and Koi. Feet are tired too. Well, nice. Uh, some other people I know are there this weekend too. Well, I know Xander is there. Xander Mobis. I'm trying to think of anybody else I know is there this weekend. If you see Laura and Koi again, uh, tell them Kyle thinks they're butt faces. It'll be okay. <laughs> That's right, Chris Hackney is there. Before I change my mind. They won't get mad at you if if, if they know it's coming from me. <laughs> they might get mad at me, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> yes, Chris Hackney is the voice of Yuito in Scarlet Nexus. Especially after watching that board and barrel. Yeah, seriously. Ah, they have to be separated. Those two are nothing but trouble. 2B is OP. Yeah, she basically just one-shotted that thing. In another part of 2B's mind, 9S locates the virus and disables it. The enemy stumbles in response to the unexpected counterattack, and the two take advantage of the situation to escape. Later, 2B reports the completion of their mission. As 9S lends his damaged companion a shoulder, he thinks, Why does 2B kill me? Why are my memories erased? And why do we always meet again? I kind of want to set some of this the artwork him, as like and he a desktop find wallpaper. The words to ask. However, so long as he remains in her mind. Especially with the so the animated part of him is sparkles and memory. stuff. He doesn't care how many times she kills him. Their fate is a never-ending spiral, and they cling to its threads. So 9S walks on through the darkness. They have a screenshot mode for that in the library. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, 2P, yeah. And 9X. <laughs> The story's done? Really? Commencing mission. That's the event story? I'm done. Could have moved on to hard mode. Well, that's all right. It's kind of a nothing burger story. It's just, it's a nod to Automata, and it makes me really want to play through Automata again. It 
It's a delicious scrap for us 2B9S simps. <laughs> you get 2100 gems total for each difficulty, I think. Well, that's cool. Is it going to play the same? Part of yeah, mind. it is. Skip it. The enemy We've heard it. I didn't realize I hit the try again button. Oops. Done. I don't think I have enough medals to get not in S yet, though. Hold on, we'll look. Look in exchange. That's not a bad idea. Woohoo! The story from reincarnation is pre automata stuff, though. What? Really? Exchange. I don't have enough. I only have 140. <laughs> Crowley, it's okay, bud. Go to hard mode? Yep, I guess so. Summon? I don't have enough. We need to level Akeha before doing hard mode. Do we though? I feel like 2B can probably carry us. I'm gonna try at least the first the first one. You need to level up a, a character? Yes, you're not strong enough. Okay, okay, okay. I trust you. Uh, this one. Yeah. Oop, not that. I don't have any of these. Two B's weapon is maxed. Two B herself is pretty damn close. Not this one. You don't want me to. That's not the one we're... That is the one we're using. Isn't it? Wait. Are we using this one? I'm confused. That's the two star. Oh, you're right. It says it right there, in deck. Okay. My bad. There. That should be enough. Now let's go do it. 
Weapons? <sighs> okay, all right. Uh, is that my Phoenix Sword? Yeah. I don't think I have anything to spend on these. Oh, I do. Right there. Go up to 50, you get double XP from running an event. There. Glorious! Oh, and it gave me back the stuff I didn't spend. That's nice. Uh, and what's the... Oh, I should, uh... Should I do the Emil heads? Or should I do... Something else. No? No? Okay. All right, good. Missions real quick, challenges. And back to quests. Let's do it. Kyle. Chomping at the bit to kill stuff. Yeah, I. It's this is this is a little weird for me. Like it's very relaxing to just sit and watch stuff happen, but I'm a very impatient gamer. I don't like to spend a lot of time dealing with meta and theory crafting. I like to just get into the game. I'm I'm not a big fan of like optimizing weapon loadouts and stuff, but that's I this whole game is optimizing weapon everyone. loadouts. Come. So... <laughs> We've got it. Hi, Crowley. How annoying. We'll do just enough to where we can... Now we've we've done the subquest. That was... That was... One bucket list thing to do this week is checked off. The next... Th the, the, the only other one that we have for this week is getting 9S. So... We know we can get him for sure with 200 automata medals. That's what we're going for. Which is exciting because then, from that point on, this game becomes nothing but story for me. I don't have to do any of the grindy stuff. This is a different 9S than the one you get in the gotcha. Oh yeah, I know. But, it's the same voice lines. <laughs> I'll cut you down. But, I just want A9S on my team. And I, I got lucky getting the 2B I got, so, I mean, we've got somebody to do all kinds of damage for us. Gale is about to die. Well, we finished.
Two more should do it for 9S. Okay. I'll cut down everything in my way. Pew, 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 pew. How annoying. Sweet. Click on the metal after this one? Yeah, I will. I forgot to after the last one. But I kind of just figured we weren't there yet, so... Gale is getting uncomfortably close to death on these. 188. You can probably run this without Gale, safer for quests. What do you mean? If she dies, you miss out on gems? Ew. You can change her weapon affinity? Commencing mission. How do you do that? I've got enough death. It's everyone. like 10 gems if you lose someone. Oh, okay. I'm not too worried about it then. Big boss man's come out. And Tubi's gonna one shot. Oh, maybe not. Be gone. He didn't get a he didn't get a single attack off. Two hundred five. We did it. We have enough to pick up a nine S. All right, but before we do that, let's claim whatever's in the gift box here. And take a look over at, oh, no, summons. Oops. Let's do the gotcha first. Because if we get lucky with a 10 pull, then we'll spend those 200 medals on something else. I don't think we will, but, you know, worth a shot. Not even a purple. Blech. Lame. That sucked. What are those? Uh, whatever. Okay, uh, let's get out of here and go to... Where are we going? Quests. Shop. What? Where's there? Shop. Exchange. No, not that. Automata medals. Where are they? There they are. Up there. Aha! Gimme! I 
I got him! How many more do I have? I have five more medals? What does that mean? XL character enhancement? That's a good thing to get. I'll do that. And then... I want to go to enhance... And characters... And 9S... And... Give him everything. Everything you got. Extra, extra hard. Hey, Silk Soul, thank you so much for those 10 gift subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Welcome to Hacker Clan, Hatter Matters, Actress Life, Rice Patty Hat, Excessively Stubborn Lad, Diorama. Diorama Remini, Kilowaka. Jay Zima, Moon Station TV, Lurk a Lot, and Akimoto Ren, courtesy of Silk Soul. Welcome to Hacker Clan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, and now I want to enhance his weapon. His weapon is... Where... Hold on, I gotta change my loadout first. You are being swapped. Nines. Oh, where's your... Where's Cruel Oath? Is that it? No, she gets a buff. What are you talking about? I don't know. Where? Go right? Where are the names of the weapons? Hold down to check. Not that. It's not this one? No. Murderous intent. Where is it? That one what? You're on it. You have it selected. Oh, this one right here? <laughs> cool. All right, now I have it in my loadout. Let me go to enhance and weapons and yeah, you, gimme, auto, do it. Pew. Glorious. Cool. Give me my mission. Receive. Close and go back to... I want to go back to my loadout real quick because I think I can... I want to swap... Placement. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's all done now. Mission accomplished. All right. Perfect. That's... We did what we set out to do this week, and I'm really, really happy about it. So. Uh, Kyle's gonna be a gotcha addict. I don't know about that. Um... Go to the library? Okay. Let's see what's there. Where am I going? We need to hear 9S's lines. Oh, okay. Encyclopedia? So many characters. I didn't click on anything.
When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the objective is failure itself. Yay! When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming... That's the same line again! Behavior. Souls in heaven, huh? Do either of those things exist? Even if they do, I... Sweet! Souls in heaven, huh? Souls in heaven. Scanners like me mostly work alone. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Souls in heaven. Scanners like me. When it comes to combat, the machines show souls in heaven. When it comes to combat. When it comes to combat. When it comes to combat. Scanners like me mostly work. When it comes to combat. When it comes to combat. When it comes to combat. It's the, the remix. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's go back over to here. Uh, that's gonna do it for tonight's broadcast. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Sick beats scanner, bro. Uh, wait, shit, I missed it. He got 9S. I got him with medals. I got the three-star 9S, which I'll take it. I'll take it. So, mission accomplished. We got 9S, and we finished the near automata, uh, uh, Subquest. Side quest? Subquest. That's what they call it. Anyway, so we did that. And now, I think each character only has three of those. Oh, well, that'd be why we heard the same thing over and over again. Um, that was recorded in this home studio, by the way. Uh, but not on this rig. Because this game, unlike uh, Near Automata and Near Replicant and OG Near. All three of those were recorded uh, for with Cup of Cup of Tea Productions in Burbank, California, um, and Replicant version 1.22. A whole lot of that was done remote in home studios, including this one, because of the pandemic. But near reincarnation, Cup of Tea. Uh, didn't do this one. This one was done with uh, PCB Productions out in... I think they're in Encino is where they're at. Anyway, it's it's about 20 or 30 minutes uh, west. And um, that one, PCB did... I, I think they did everything for this game, or at least most everything for this game, uh, through their remote recording rigs and PCB uh, when they do remote records they decided that in order to keep to make it e make things easier on their mixers so that everything would be have a uniform sound they have a kit that they send out with uh, the same gear uh, they have several cop several copies of the kit that's all the same same MacBook Pro I think uh uh, the same USB interface, and I can't remember what kind they used. It's a, I think it's an Apogee something or other. Uh, and the same Neumann TLM-103 microphone. And then the big kicker that makes sure that the sound is consistent, because the biggest thing in treating, uh, in, in getting a professional quality home studio, biggest thing doesn't, like, yes, your, your interface matters, your microphone matters, but the biggest factor is the treatment. These these things right here for me. Those are four inch thick acoustic panels that absorb all the sound in this space. So there's not a whole lot of echoing happening off of bare walls and stuff like that. A lot of voice actors record uh, in their closets, at least their auditions, but, but throughout the past year and a half, They've been recording actual sessions in closets because there are uh, there's there's already stuff hanging in those closets, so it absorbs the sound with all of those clothes and stuff. So uh, that that works really really well. Um, but because not everybody's home studio is equal in that regard, in particular, I mean the microphone 
and the and the interface uh th they have an impact on that for sure but the biggest thing is definitely the sound treatment so the biggest factor in pcb's remote recording rig is they include a little shield thing that uh i wish i had a picture to pull up for you but it's it's like a it's like a a, a half circle thing that's that's probably about that tall that has some acoustic foam in it and their their uh, mic stand kit mounts that right behind the microphone um so and in it in a professional recording space you would never use something like that for voiceover because uh well particularly it blocks the sight line it makes it really hard you have to you have to do some real interesting mental gymnastics to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this and talk into this and set up a screen somewhere where I can see my script? Uh, so that's <laughs> that's one thing. But the other thing is that that, um, that little shield thing is honestly not ideal for, uh, for recording voiceover because it's so close to the microphone it actually creates a reflection that kind of starts to sound a little bit boxy, even though it's treated with that acoustic foam. It's it's just it's just not ideal. But PCB were brilliant in including that in their little remote kits because as soon as they put that in front of every one of their actors in every remote space, whatever kind of treatment they've got in their space doesn't matter because automatically with that little shield, everybody sounds the same. It, it's like it that that the space all of a sudden every so it's it makes their their uh it makes everything on the on the mixers side of things much much easier in terms of uh in terms of figuring out how to make the sound uniform hi remus you came back um so anyway uh i recorded a, uh, about half of my stuff well I, I recorded all of all of the stuff in ending e from near replicant version 1.22 recorded all of that and now i i want to i want to i see i see you seer seer cirrus uh in chat talking about looking into acoustic treatment don't do one of those shields don't do it don't do it i would not recommend it for anybody but for pcb using it for their remote kits just to get a, a uniform sound throughout their whole cast makes perfect sense for that application not for normal voiceover use. Um, anyway, uh, uh, I, I think the best you can the best you can do the best money can buy are thick acoustic panels like these. Um, that's expensive. So uh, next best thing you can do are honestly sound blankets in in the middle of a space is pretty good um because then you get a nice air gap between the the blanket the that's absorbing sound and the bare walls that are outside and then it has to come back through the blanket before it gets to the microphone and causes a problem um are you looking right at the camera <laughs> uh um but but honestly closets work really well if you've got lots of clothes hanging in them they 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 work really, really well. Um, anyway, so uh, Replicant, most of the stuff I did for Replicant was done in this studio on this computer that I'm streaming through. Uh, but uh, the stuff that I did for Reincarnation, which all of that was, re was recorded fresh... Um, and it wasn't much because it's just you know it's 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 a gotcha game it's a mobile game, and it's mostly just references to 9s in Automata. But all of it was recorded fresh uh, on one of those PCB remote rigs in this room. So um, just a little bit, a little, little tidbit of peeling back the curtain before we end this stream, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I uh, really appreciate it. I know this was an unusual time slot for us this week, but mission accomplished. We did what we set out to do, and we did it in the normal amount of time for a stream. Um, 
Uh, if you haven't done so already, please do me a favor, give me a follow. There's a little heart icon somewhere around here, assuming you're watching live here at twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. And if you're not watching live, then go to twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley and find that heart icon and click on it. It'll turn purple once you've clicked on it. And then you'll get a little bell icon that'll show up next to it. And if you make sure that that is purple, you will get notifications either sent to your phone or emailed to your inbox, depending on your account settings, every time this channel goes live. The schedule for the, the normal schedule is in the chat right now for live viewers from pod 153. Uh, next time you can catch me will be tomorrow at noon Pacific time, Saturday at noon Pacific time, uh, where we will be continuing our adventure through Scarlet Nexus, where Everyone's in love with everyone, and they won't just take off their clothes already, and I don't understand why. Uh, normally, this stream that we're doing tonight would have happened Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. It didn't happen because I needed to rearrange my schedule this weekend. Uh, so, there is no stream on Sunday more noon, but... There is still a stream Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time, The Board and Barrel. Me and my buddies play board games on that show, and it is a whole lot of fun. We, uh, it's a very interactive broadcast. We have house rules that you guys can influence throughout the course of the stream, so you can either help us or hurt us, depending on how you feel. Uh, we do have a guest this weekend, Laura Post who I think we just heard as the voice of uh, Akiha, Akiha, the, 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 the commander costume character that we were just playing with for a second there. I think that was Laura Post. I know she's in the game that we were playing tonight. Anyway, Laura Post is a wonderful voice actor. She's joining us for the board and barrel this Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. We are going to Akiha has to be it. It is her. Cool. Um, and we are playing a game called Last Will of Vladimir Suchi. Um, and in addition to the house rule stuff that you guys can influence, we have virtual bingo cards you can fill out while you're watching the show. Uh, you can bet on who's going to win. And, uh, and it's just a good time. It's just a lot of fun. Um, we, have, we have a ton of fun on that show. It's very near and dear to my heart. So please check out the board and barrel. Sundays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. That's going to do it for tonight. Before we go, I'm going to send you guys on a raid to somebody. Let's see. Who's getting raided? Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to send you over to an artist tonight. An artist who I follow on Twitch. Uh... Her handle is Meganimation, and she is live drawing right now. Getting caught up on some subscriber doodles is the uh, the description for or the title for that stream. She's a character designer in designer in the animation industry and a Twitch streamer. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna send you over to her, because, just, because, why not? There's not a ton going on on Twitch this late at night on a Friday night. So that's where you're headed, uh, right after these messages. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you tomorrow at noon Pacific time for Scarlet Nexus. Bye-bye, everybody!